Greetings and felicitations, YouTube. I wanted to show you something that I discovered on uh, on my stream the other day when I was dealing with some crash issues with this game. Um, I was playing through my Ace difficulty campaign. I just finished mission one, um, and I had gotten all the way to the last checkpoint, and I had died a couple of times throughout the course of the mission, and the game crashed, closed out the program, and I had to go through a long process just to try and get the, the game back up so I could finish off the mission. And here's what's interesting, when I finished the mission, I got the Enduring Service Medal, completed mission one without dying, and I knew it was inaccurate. Um, I wasn't too terribly pleased about it, I'd rather earn these things, but this is an exploit, this is potentially a means you can do if you're not worried about actually completing the objective so much as you are just 100%ing the game with the best tools that you have possible. So basically my theory is that if, uh, if you play through a mission, get all the way to the very last checkpoint in that mission, close the program, and then load it back up and finish, and, without, and finish the last checkpoint without dying, that you will receive the Enduring Service Medal in every mission. So uh, I've already played up through mission two, up to the very last checkpoint. We're going to dive on into it, give it a try, and see if we get the Enduring Service Medal at the end of it. So my best recommendations for staying alive on this mission are keep your power most typically balanced towards your rear shields and and stay focused. Just stay alive. Uh, yeah, rear rear balance and full power to shields is best recommendation. All right, I didn't get my ion missile off there, but that's okay. Should be able to finish that off. Done deal. And stay, stay active, stay mobile. Don't just, uh, don't just, don't just dive into the kill. Ooh, okay, that was close. I must crash into somebody there. Disabled enemy. That was an easy kill. Okay. Okay. I definitely think it's possible to do ace difficulty without dying. Uh, it's a challenge. It's definitely a challenge. But um, my best advice for that would be. Shields, full power, almost 90% of the time, and balance to your rear so you can focus on the enemies in front of you rather than the ones behind you. Um, and when they really start hammering at you, you really got to be using your repair droid and holding down the Y button to get repairs from Gunny as often as you can. Also, watch out for your wingmen. Occasionally, they like to just like suicidally dive in front of you, your, your flight path. We've got another Imperial carrier. Make that three carriers. That's a lot. Get ready, everyone. We're in. Taking control now. I also just got the achievement mission accomplished. I think that might mean that I got every medal. Yep, there you go. So I picked up, uh, we can get the, uh, the medal info here. I completed mission two, um, completed mission two in 13 minutes or less. Uh, I completed mission two without dying. I saved Frisk from Deadly Tail and I discovered the Victorum's breach point in the first scan. That's the spot directly behind the bridge, the garbage compactor in the aft. You might remember it from uh, from Star Wars V, Empire Strikes Back, when um, uh, Han Solo had to detach from his hiding place behind the, the Star Destroyer, that spot. Um, just scan that spot before you scan anywhere else and saving frisk is easy they give you a long time to deal with that um 
And I think it's, it's it's definitely possible to do these missions without dying, but you could always just, you know, go straight to the end of the mission, right before you get to that last checkpoint, close out the program, boot it back up, play from there, and it gives you the Enduring Service Medal. All right? Uh, I hope this uh, information has been valuable for you. Uh, and as always, try not to cheat. 